Man, as a Louisville fan, it was so hard trying to get tickets to the Louisville Kentucky game. I know it happens every year, but it's so hard to get tickets. It should not be that hard to get a ticket to support your team and be a true fan. And with game time, that problem is no longer an issue. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fastest, easy way to get your tickets to the next big event and the price is guaranteed. So go ahead and take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. So download the game time at make account, use promo code club 520 and get $20 off. Sign up. And while you at it, go ahead and use the promo code CLUB520 for $20 off your first purchase on the app. Don't forget, use CLUB520 for the promo code. You get that $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, we back. Another episode of CLUB520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Will. Same gang with me to my left. My dog, Bishop B. Hen out the prillies. How you what, nasty? Look at that nigga chain. Cool and nasty. <laughs> Big Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Not the little one. Look, look what you do with the, with the fucking church's money. Issa just passed. The real NIL. I mean, the oh. collection plate. <laughs> That's I a did to that bitch. <laughs> you gotta be a slimy nigga to finesse out the collection plate while he, he pass it around. He is. Shout out to the, I ain't gonna say his name. <laughs> Who helped me with the overlay for the underlay? You hear me? Excuse me? That, that other preacher. <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> shout, out shout out to Ramsey. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> hey, respect. Pastor Johnson stepped down. Respect. He stepped down. Oh, yeah. You know what? Put him in the hall. Nah, his son's my niggas, man. Shout uh, out to them, shout too. Shout out to Jordan. Yeah, I love the, I love the family. To my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young T. How you up, man? And I'm chilling, man. Got some of my... Favorite uh, Jordans, you know, I fuck with the fours, but the cement fours are some of my favorite. Don't want to wait. Ones. What? Damn. You crazy as hell. Yeah. I can't wait till these come back out. For real, for real. These are, oh, yeah. I think these are like 2011, 2012. They ain't even got the Nike on the back, but I still fuck with them. Damn, you said They clean, though. You said some of the weakest fours? Yeah, them was out of the, the lineage of the fours. <laughs> that the nigga Damn, them, that's But tough. I love the four as a shoe, though. That's a good shoe. What Damn. are you putting over those? Like, how many? Hey, drunk. These these so tough. It's like three of them. That's really definitely what? Over it, bro. The ones that we got for sure. Red, uh, red. The OG ones. Yeah, I like them. Green, I like them green ones. The, green? the part, the purple ones. I mean, the purple fours. I fuck with them over those too. The Travis Scott fours. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nigga, them friends and family ones. Uh, them, them yeah, them niggas niggas out. Out. Look at them. Yeah, <laughs> they fours. About, bro, you talk about yeah, shit that ain't even. I thought you was gonna be like lightning fours and yeah, something more realistic, yeah. nigga. Don't know about you. You don't got some <laughs> Travis Scott. <laughs> yeah. Nobody in here got those. Nobody in here got those. You can't bro. get them on StockX. So, so are they fours or not? <laughs> nah, them don't count, bro. <laughs> Don't nobody got them. That's like posting a PJ shoe. But like, nigga, that's not fair, bro. Right, like, so, niggas can't get okay, them. Okay, shout out to all the Foot Locker fours then, for sure. <laughs> that's what you call them, the Foot Locker <laughs> Shit, that's attainable, bro. But these, these were some of my favorites, though. Man, I fuck with the fours. The military's are coming back out. That's the shoe that I always want until I get it, and then I don't wear them, and I'm like, why the fuck I bought a shoe? Yeah, I'm going to get them. Yeah, that pressure. Them is hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, Fuck with them. them. I'm yeah. them. <laughs> you calling them for locker force is absolutely insane. Don't listen to him, y'all. Yeah, he's out of pocket. Hey, man. My nigga J. Cole back outside rapping for mm. real, for real, man. Rapping for Solid real, for real. Solid with a check. I mean, oh. <laughs> y'all fuck with the tape? Yeah. Nah, hard. It's hard. He's, he said, you know, Kendrick wouldn't be relevant if niggas weren't dissing. I felt that, because... He wasn't really, wasn't nobody really speaking on Kendrick no more. So I respect that. Man, what I fuck with it is, uh, his team put it out. They was like, listen to the whole thing before you listen to the, the last song on the album, which was the diss. And I was like, nigga, no. I'm, as soon as I seen somebody on Twitter say, oh, he talking about Kendrick, jump straight to that shit. You do fuck up the part that he really rapping on that bitch. And the best diss songs on the entire tape is not that last song. Yeah. It's not the Seven Mile Joint. Yeah, yeah, he dissing through the whole album. That's what's making fire, but he rapping a whole album. That's fire, bro. He diss he diss Kendrick on the song with two TD niggas. That's fire. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. That's elite. Out of pocket, but I get it. Nah, I fucked with it. <laughs> but Kendrick left TD, so. so but he, you know them niggas is really friends. Yeah. So I mean, nobody was really checking for an abs verse anyway. So fuck it, why not? Yeah, but I. 
That's what makes shit a little shaky for me. Hey, damn, bro. You put two of his niggas on there, but I'm like, maybe it's just pure rap shit, so. Nah, it's, it's but he keeps saying he fuck with him, though. He yeah, like, he's like, I fuck with Kendrick. Yeah, you my nigga, but I'm about to bury you. Yeah. And I can respect that part. I don't think his shit, pause, I don't think his verse hit as hard as Kendrick's did because of the beat. Like, he wasn't on no Metro beat. Hell no. Nah. Mm-hmm. That Metro beat and Kendrick come, but the thing is, he dropped a whole album. Yeah, bro. It, he different. dropped. What's crazy about that is, I feel like on the actual album, if Kendrick say something else, we'll get another like real response on there. Mm-hmm. That was like a light jab at him, but just like, hey, nah, I heard you, bro. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. it ain't that. But I don't know, Bishop, you, you acting like my boy David Ruffin. Somebody else got to talk now. J. Cole ain't speaking for two people. Mm-hmm. He spoke for himself. Yeah. Hey, man. It is what it is, man. If he don't put out nothing, oh well. Who, Drake? Yeah. Nah, I ain't no oh well, bro. No well, ain't no oh well, man. Y'all don't care. I do. sport. Like, y'all don't really give a fuck. Y'all gonna listen and, like, shout out to my nigga Ruff, man. He said, it's damn near too late. Y'all already made y'all minds up that whatever Drake put out is gonna be weak. Gentleman, y'all don't care no more, bro. So it's kind of, I, I, mean, I, I really, agree. I ain't gonna lie, I really ain't a Drake fan no more. <laughs> Damn, that quick. <laughs> I never was, though. <laughs> After we got killed for that Michael Jackson Drake the same nigga that sing better than Michael Jackson. Uh, now you're I hope saying. y'all been following this fucking pod. Nah, I, I swear said, to God, I, I hope I'm, y'all have. But I said I ain't never said, I said they both make good music, but I ain't never really been a fan. You know, mm-hmm. like, a fan? Like, oh, shit, the Drake shit about to drop. Like, I ain't never been. Like, who are you that? Who are you? Like, when Jay-Z dropped, I'm like, oh, okay, Jay. Oh, I gotta wake up in the middle of the night. Like, if it drop at 12, I'm gonna stay up and listen to it. Like, Drake drop, nigga, I'll catch it a week later. Y'all come in here and say some shit. Oh, that song tough. Then I'll get in the car and listen to it. But I don't really like, like his last three or four albums, I ain't, I haven't listened to them. I just hear the song. They haven't been on par as the old shit. Yeah, I ain't really been a Drake fan since the shit, uh, him and Future. Damn. Damn, not since. Uh, <laughs> damn, I'm being real. That was the shit I. My decade ago, I this nigga, man. With that. <laughs> what was that? What was that? time to be alive? <laughs> yeah, what, what was after that? What a fucking time. Hold on, I gotta go through the discography now. <laughs> I'm just being honest. After that, I wasn't really. <laughs> what? Damn. Like, I ain't even tapped into this jump, man. <laughs> on my mama, I ain't really fuck with the shit with 21 like that. <laughs> It's, um, her loss ain't that far. Yeah, I ain't fuck with... Uh, I'll take that back. I fucked with the song TSU, whatever album that was. That so shit, Views came out shit. after um, I ain't like Winter views. Time. Views, I'll fuck with Views. Views are solid. More Life, not really... I don't even know what I'm that cool is. on More Life. Scorpion, I think, is the worst Drake album. I don't even know what that is. Damn. You fuck with Starless Five Lovable? I fucked with that. Which one? was on? Is that TSU on there? Uh, whatever yep. one. Yeah, I, that was cool. So that was 2021. All right, cool. TSU. That's the only song I really liked on that motherfucker. Damn, we saw Nah, and Poppy's Home or some shit like that. Daddy's Home? Daddy's Home or some shit. Damn, he ain't fuck with Drake in a couple years. <laughs> yeah, after that, that shit, that shit watered down. Spooky? Yeah. <laughs> that, was, those last albums haven't been the same. I mean, they're going to always have the slaps on there because Drake going to make a fire song, yeah. especially when he collab. It's going to be a hit, but it hasn't been the same. I just thought it was funny as hell that Kendrick said that... <laughs> I mean, not Kendrick. Uh, J. Cole said that Kendrick's last, like, his space between his albums on that. Nah, shit was funny. Because yeah. we could have said the same about you, bro. So that nigga got a, a good nah, verse Kendrick every 30 months. More than Ke- I mean, uh, J. Cole dropped more than Kendrick. Yeah, he does. They what? dropped the same amount of albums like the last couple of years. It's just been, the time has been different. But you just Cole hear Cole on different projects more. Yeah. Right, so he, he's out more. <clears throat> I'm not because disagreeing with that. I'm saying. That's damn near like comparing 2 Chains to somebody. 2 Chains only got a couple albums, but the nigga went on such a crazy feature run. It's kind of like you always hurting. J. Cole always makes his presence felt. For Kendrick sure. really goes hiding, bro. Yeah. He don't do his weird ass album and then hop on a 21 Savage yeah. and them type of niggas, bitch, like J. Cole do. I so. get Drake this, though. He do keep himself relevant. He do make fire songs and shit. I, I'm just not like a. I can't do that. I can't. I don't like new rappers, so it don't really matter to me. And he always seemed to be with new rappers, so it, yeah, that makes sense for what you. Yeah, you know what I sure. mean. So it ain't no shot at Drake. Like he ain't cold. He cold, but it's just like like doing a tape with Twenty One. Not listening to Twenty One. No, I, I fuck with Drake music. I just like I'm never gonna put in Drake over Future. But I heard Twenty One album personal. was hard though. Actually, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what somebody told me. Like, bro, you should listen. It's hard. But I'm just saying that ain't just my kind of music. Oh, uh, 21 Max Heat. Especially the last couple of years. Yeah. Savage's last album is raw. Yeah. I ain't heard no heat from 21 since the shit with J. Cole. What is that? Oh, oh wow. God. Man, you missed his last... <laughs> we, got, we got an update. Your iPod, my nigga. I don't care. I don't even want no updates. <laughs> Keep it being with you. They got a nano. I ain't, ain't gonna lie. I heard a song the other day made me think of you. I Hold see. on, nigga, pause. No, no, no. No, 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 shit. Because you be hype about Sexy Red. <laughs> that's, his, that's, his, that's, his, that's his nigga. <laughs> you know, he, he, he was fitting earlier, y'all. Now Sexy he, Red. <laughs> He was fitting earlier. Hey, we were, I want him to laugh. <laughs> I want my nigga to laugh. Hey, when we was in Letter, that was, what's that song called? You know, your theme song. <laughs> Get it sexy. <laughs> that nigga was hyped in a bitch when that came on. That He's was, a hoe. That nigga said, Get it sexy. <laughs> He's a fucking liar, bro. <laughs> Not the hand movement. <laughs> the one <laughs> trick to get him check <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> that nigga's a fucking liar, bro. I ain't lying, nigga said, get it, sexy. You know what's crazy? That's, a, look, that's, a, that's, a, that's a banger, though. That's bro, a good song. Bro, he looked at me. He said, fucking goes up. <laughs> <laughs> the club get lit. He said, goes up. <laughs> the club get lit. <laughs> My God, what? <was. laughs> The club, the club get lit. Now, hey. I, now I, yes, I am rocking with Sexy Red. She makes good music. But don't act like I'm in that motherfucker you grabbing was, my knees, twerking, bro. Twerk it, bro. This, the club goes up. I told you. Sexy Red get the club lit, but don't act like I'm in that motherfucker gyrating, bro. That's what you're not fit to do on this fucking podcast. Get it, Sexy. I I'll, let you, that, I'll let you be in your feelings earlier in peace. <laughs> but what you're not fit to lie on my name, nigga. Man, where my fucking Hennessy bottle is, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. <laughs> hey, she's going to hit for Hennessy like. Man, where the Hennessy bottles at, man? Uh, Bruce, get us right. Nah, Sexy sexy Red is the truth. Glory is the truth. I hey, fuck with the young girl. You see Sexy Red uh, went to the school and they wouldn't let her in because she smelled like weed. Man, As they shouldn't, bro. She got to do better. She was, but, she was in the loo? I don't know where she was, but she was supposed to see you. They allowed her to come to a school to speak to the kids. And they was like, you smell like weed, you can't come in here. So she went outside in the parking lot, outside the truck, where they was about to get on the bus and turned up with them. Who authorized Sexy Red to speak to the kids? Like, at a school, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, they wildin'. Shout out to that school. That had yeah. to be near them. That was a public school. Who was that? Christmas at the end? <laughs> 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 that nigga said addicts. You're hey, out of pocket. Coach fault. Banks just did a job at addicts, and now he got sexy red. <laughs> I ain't surprised. That's <laughs> my nigga kill, man. <laughs> That's crazy. But we about to see a whole lot of niggas dancing to all these female rappers in the club. Niggas don't know how to play it cool when they come on now because you got Meg and Glow now. They got a song. They, they on do. tour. Damn, it's a video heard. for it, too. You should watch the video. It, Meg looks really oh good my in the video. Oh, my God. He got his leg up. Talking about Megan. She, she looks really good. I hate that you be lifting your leg up in this motherfucker. How about y'all just do the show? <laughs> I'm comfortable. That nigga <laughs> talking about Megan I'm lift his leg up. This shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> do the show. Well, song, put, the, put the camera on this nigga. Yeah. I got a camera. I'm get on this nigga. You dress like Professor Ogilvy in this motherfucker today. <laughs> Out the park, <laughs> professor. <laughs> I'm about to start calling you professor, bro. That's funny as a bitch. <laughs> nah, I like that gap jacket though, nigga. That's all right. That's all right with me. All right. I had a I had seen a theory and it was just like Drake is gonna respond to this, but it ain't gonna be who the people we think it is. <laughs> I think he gonna shoot at Travis Scott first. Yeah, just he got to it. though. What Travis Scott do? Basically, he chose the other side. Oh, he chose it. So. But somebody he could probably easily, you know what I'm saying? Bring that type of energy too, and probably wouldn't have a response. That would be funny as hell if he did that. Drake really can kill Kendrick though. I think I'm bigger than you. He got a lot of shit. I rap just as good as you really on some real shit. Drake when he really rap, he makes better songs. Nah, Drake can rap, rap for real. Like when Drake, <laughs> when Drake do the one that. songs like on the thirty for thirty. Oh yeah, the time. Yeah. No, Drake is cold, but yeah, <laughs> nah. But you said better. If they if they have to if it's just that. He's going to lose. He has to do the other stuff to win that. I one. mean, yeah, because he got like the Degrassi and all that shit. But like, Kendrick Cole, they all, they all damn near right there. They are. They so are. Drake is on last on your list out of them three? Yeah, just because Drake more of a... Pop nigga? Yeah, he, he do pop shit. But like, them niggas is like backpack rappers. Drake always was a star off the ripper. Like, all of them kind of had to, you know what I mean? 
Drake Drake music too versatile. Yeah, yeah, his music too versatile that you want to hear in different aspects of life. But if you came out to just rapping, he'd be third on that list. If I needed somebody to make a hit from that list, oh, I'm taking Drake first. For sure. That's crazy. But if he really get active and he just like, you know what? I'm about to just stun on these niggas. Like, he should do that. And just rap. like, nigga, none of you need, like, you know, Cole got to say, fuck the Grammys. <laughs> Drake can be like, mm-mm. <laughs> you uh, know what? <laughs> Panama. <Yeah. laughs> like, hey, but speaking crazy. of diss songs, what's your favorite diss song? Either. Damn, don't ever disrespect Fuck Jay-Z. Me, oh, whoa, whoa. What's up, nigga? <laughs> oh, I know you ain't talking about me, dog. You, what? They can't say the things they said in them songs now. <laughs> you been on my, you love my style. That's so disrespectful. I fuck you with been you on my so dick, like you either. love my style. That shit was hard. But Hove told him, nigga, I leave the condom, I left the condom on your baby seat. Yeah, I got something in common. Mm. That was snitching to AI. AI didn't deserve that straight. Mm. That was very disrespectful. That, I, that was the most disrespectful line I ever heard in a real battle. Besides, uh, fuck you, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> what, 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 Hit him up is crazy, bro. <laughs> Tupac say to that nigga. Claim to be a player, but I <laughs> fucked your wife. Yeah. You starting a song off like that is crazy, bro. <laughs> is you are on bullshit. <laughs> He's foul, man. man. He is a foul nigga. I swear to God. Cap ass nigga. If a nigga tell me I fucked your wife, I'm getting divorced that night, but I'm going to sh- you. <laughs> You're not even gonna see if it's true. Or no, not. like nigga, out loud. Yeah, why? Why we married? DM is crazy. me that. <laughs> like, yeah, why we married is crazy. Yeah, and niggas is playing that in the club. Turn, hey, turn that shit off, man. No, out loud. There was crazy. some different type of times, but I just think Ether, just the beat, how he killed that motherfucker. It just, it's a great song, bro. I don't think it's the best, but Back Down by Fifty is one of my favorite just songs. Mm. You think back down is better than? I didn't say it's better. I said it's one of my favorites because of how disrespectful he was to y'all. He told a nigga he sing for hoes and sound like the Cookie Monster. That's <laughs> Eat, disrespectful. Wangster is my is my number two. Eat Wangster the heat though. Mm. Eat the heat. Yeah, Wangster is my number two. Hit him up would be number one, but his them next verses by them niggas that was next <laughs> up. Yeah, they had no turn business them there. off. Like no disrespect to whoever they were, but turn them off. I don't even know who it was. Robin Big. <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, he did uh, R.I.P. One dead. of the best TV shows of all time. God bless the dead. Turn him off. <laughs> hey, man, we, I don't know how you need to be tapped into who's here and who ain't, but somebody has to be on standby for you, bro. Man, yeah, he killed everybody off. <laughs> and then the somebody kill else killed him, bro. I didn't kill him, bro. Nah, you were out of pocket. Oh, he was dead, my fuck. Hey, man, y'all see G-Dev got out of jail? I didn't know why he went to jail until recently. G that that's special delivery. Yeah, bad boy. Damn nigga had niggas Harlem shaking like a motherfucker on that. Fifty. I mean, he did get everybody locked up. What did he go to jail for? Man, he um he robbed somebody back in the day and shot him, but he didn't know he killed him until like years later. So then he tried to tell them years later that he did it, but he was high and they was like, "We can't take a confession because you smell like weed, like you're under influence." But he ended up telling them all the information, and he went to jail for like. Them are 13 years. Why he telling himself? I guess he felt guilty. Well, nah, bro. Should have went to the confessional. Right, bro. <laughs> Just put the teardrop under your eye and move on, bro. <laughs> bro, snitching on yourself is crazy. Snitching on yourself is nuts. So, you said just get the teardrop? Is yeah. he Muslim now? Or? I was going to say, I, I wanted to see, well, you know, I, niggas in jail either come out Muslim or something else, so I would imagine he is. Nah, he Muslim. Right. Niggas don't never really come out of Christian. That is crazy. Yeah. It's straight Islam. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Beasley. He pulled out his carpet the other day. <laughs> Got on that motherfucker. Jamar, he was doing Ramadan for about a week. Yeah, nigga, he, ate some pork. He was in a, <laughs> damn, he was in a party. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? I can't eat till eight. So, bitch, get out. <laughs> nigga was drinking at 7 30. Talking about I can't have no goofy. water. <laughs> He's talking about I can't drink till eight. <laughs> nigga had some uh, fucking shot at 7 30. <laughs> Nigga, uh, I told him, get that nigga a fucking bean pie and some brisket, because this nigga lying. <laughs> hey, man, I've seen that this dude, he's like the first person to successfully get uh, a transplant from a pig. He got like a kidney from a pig. Yeah. I was like, damn, what if you Muslim and that's your last result? Are you out of pocket? Because, <laughs> bro, bro, I want to live. Save your life, bro. <laughs> Save your life. I'm bro. really shitty as your boy for that shit, though. Because that, that nigga, paper Muslim? that nigga, yeah. But, uh, yeah he what's that shit off of, uh, Menace side, not the other, the fake one. Don't be a menace. You remember? <laughs> <laughs> That's Jamar. My milk of magnesia. Swine is all fine. Oh, look at this, nigga. 
I said, damn, boy. That's my nigga. Love you, damn boy. But nigga, you was drinking at 730, boy. Damn. Beasley was trying to hold off hands, shaking his shit. <laughs> said, nigga, if you don't get a glass of water, then you about to pass out. <laughs> Hey, respect to the Muslim, hom- the Muslim homies on the corner still, like, selling the incense and shit. Sure. They always got on a suit and a fucking fresh haircut. Swear. Yo, none of them niggas know how to line us, bro. Oh, I swear to God. And they, they be out there now. when it's 85, nigga. Oh, they trapping for real. I ain't gonna lie. I got a paper from them one day. Damn. You know I know they had a... The, yeah. yeah. I, I almost tapped in one day. Then I said, they told me you had to do Ramadan. I was like... Damn. 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 Way I um, way my body set up. Boy. Won't be able to do that. Shout out to Kyrie and them. They they built different, bro. Right. Any of the Muslims built like me, you know they lying. Motherfucker ain't missing a Ramadan. <laughs> you Ramalai. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ramalai is crazy. <laughs> ain't no heavy set Muslims, nigga. <laughs> hey, what's crazy with Kyrie is when he was at the nest, they was giving that nigga peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> Dallas had a chef come in just to have his meals ready after Ramadan. Yeah, hey, bro. some of you NBA franchises really be out of pocket, man. Nah, Dallas go all out for their guys, though. But that's that's hard, though. If I was going through Ramadan shit like that, for somebody to do that, that'd be hard. For sure. Hey, man, you called it. Bronny James to the league. Yeah, he ain't, what college you gonna do for him, man? Yeah, and the nigga said, but it's weird, though. He said, I'm entering the draft, and I'm also keeping up with my college eligibility, so I'm going into the portal, too. So yeah. does that mean if your stock ain't looking to where you want it to? You can go back to college. Got yeah. you. Okay. But his stock going to be what it is. He going to the league. It ain't no reason even. Yeah. What we doing? That's Everything he's been doing has been pure formality. So a real projection just from us, like where do y'all think he he lands? Are you yeah, still saying being unsigned? Bronson alone, he going to be second round. Okay. Somebody might get crazy and pick him first if they think Bron going to go. I want. That's what I was gonna ask y'all. Y'all think really? Y'all think Brown really gonna stand no business with that? With him saying I'm gonna play with my son, like, and if a team draft him, he'll actually go there because I don't believe that that's gonna actually happen. I don't think he'll just go if a random team gets him. He's not going to fucking Orlando. I don't believe that. It's gonna have to be a perfect situation. I think Brown will go, man. He don't really care about them championships no more, man. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. But it's this is Brown's contract year. Yeah, he's a free agent. Ooh. You seen him rubbing his arms. Boy, if that nigga ain't no telling who can get him. That's Brian, though. And that's the NBA, so they can finagle some shit. And the Pacers go ahead and draft Bronny second round. Brian gonna stay in LA. Yeah, I come to the Pacers. That shit I see you fun. in January. Retire the 23 jersey now it's if crazy. we draft Bronny. Put LeBron in the rafters. Oh, Coldest bro. Pacer of all time. Never, they draft you, bro. Indianapolis lit for six months. Nah, bro. You know, nigga, sometimes niggas get put to a tender ass, bro. Spot me out, bro. Spot me out. Get me out of here, bro. Nah, he don't want to come here, bro. Man. He, from, he played in Cle- He from Akron. But, I mean, this Bronny's white. They're, they're not picking him, bro. Listen. Shit. They're not picking LeBron James. If you're a smart NBA team, if you're not a championship contender, draft Bronny. Yeah. For the one year that it works, it's going to be a bad Look how many... Deuces y'all done picked up, bro, over some elite niggas, bro. You think they care about Bronny James, bro? No. Man, I'm saying if you like a Detroit, an Indiana a franchise. Okay, Detroit. I'm saying a franchise that don't get a, a lot of exposure. A Charlotte right now. Send him to Charlotte. Oh, uh, Bronny with That's my pick. Yes. I'm glad like, you said that. Uh, OKC, even if they got all the goddamn picks they got. <laughs> fuck it, give me. Why not? Take Bronny. And LeBron say, fuck it. Y'all got opening for me. I take the minimal. Play with myself. That's what I'm saying. Chip, bro. I know how I feel about the OKC boys. If that end up fucking happening, bro, they different. That would be fire. But the Lakers are getting brownie, so don't even worry about it. I was going to say, at the end of the day, this is going to probably be LeBron's biggest flex in the NBA. He deserves it, though, bro. Yeah, he He even gave y'all 22 years of his life. He didn't do too much for the league. He deserved his son to be on the team with him. He can make history. Yeah. It don't matter. <laughs> what if the Lakers draft him first round off? That would be hilarious. I wouldn't That'd be surprised. Hard. That would be fire. Because, the honestly, this is what I was thinking the other day. I was like, damn, this draft is not that deep. Me and Brad were talking about the shit at the game yesterday. Like, it really ain't too many names in that motherfucker that we could say, Bronny's nowhere near as good as this nigga, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, after that first eight, probably... He kind of fit in, bro. Them is his colleagues after that. Niggas that he played you against and with. So, I don't know. 
marketing standpoint, yeah, go ahead and grab him. Yeah, you're going to get some you grab and get release money balls. Back. Yeah, right. That James is going crazy. Yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> that James Jordan is going platinum, though. Yeah. That's crazy. I want LeBron to really flex. Like, I, he already talked. He's been talking crazy to the rest for a long time, but he's been really disrespectful. Like, I just want LeBron to wild out his last year's in the NBA. Fuck it. Have y'all been tapped in with the show? Um, Him and JJ? Yeah. Yeah. I like that JJ holds him accountable because he was just like, LeBron, you ain't never got on YouTube and watch your highlights. And he tried to lie, act like he didn't. He's like, come on, bro. We all watch our highlights. You ever watch your highlights on YouTube? Fuck yeah. See, there we go. When you having a bad day, bad night, bad little run, I type in that. I know my favorite highlight. <laughs> What's the go-tos? I had 35 on Kyrie. <laughs> go right to a game winner. <laughs> yep. Hawks versus Cavs. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. Go right to it. <laughs> Nah, Louis clipped that. I ain't gonna say he ain't had 50, but he, he had a lot too. <laughs> but he won. <laughs> and you had it, you know? Yeah. Damn, that's funny. I'm surprised you ain't go to the um to the uh the Ray Allen dunk. I ain't never really watched that one. I watched uh playoffs. We played the Pacers. Game one. Yeah, KG was ready to swing on my boy after he boomed on Ray Allen. <laughs> that nigga was on that. <laughs> That nigga was all bad. You the first nigga to ever yelling Ray Allen. <laughs> that might be. <laughs> we love Eric Gorge. I love, bro. You know how we feel about you on the show, bro. But when that nigga was playing the KG, he was like, Trash ass. He said, Hell no. <laughs> Trash ass. <laughs> he had AJ fuck up. He definitely did, oh, bro. Yeah. But that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> What's hilarious, bro? Trash Fuck you, hilarious. Louise. <laughs> Trash ass, nigga. <laughs> Oh, I love shit. to see Kevin um, Garnett like defender the young Hoopers now because he talks so crazy when he was in the league to everybody. Yeah. That is dope to see like him mm-hmm. show love now. Kind of like on the Kobe shit, like everybody felt the way about Kobe. However, but afterwards to see him give his flares or to see him like appreciate the game was fire to see. Without a ball, it's just a court. Without your spirit, it's only a game. So together with the fans, we bring our best. Hennessy is excited to celebrate the intersection of basketball with art, music, and fashion. Each of these elements of culture represent ways that fans, players, supporters pay homage to the game, both on and off the court. Hennessy and Mitchell and us have come together for the ultimate drop, a limited edition collection to mark their shared love for basketball culture and to celebrate Hennessy's continued partnership with the league. The exclusive collection will have a limited drop available for both in retail and online and will be featured on the Hennessy Arena Tour, making stops in San Francisco, Saturday, March 9th, Dallas, Sunday, March 17th, Atlanta, Saturday, March 30th. Come see Club 520 Podcast taped live in each city. For your next pregame, let's share a twist on the classic, the Hennessy Margarita. A squeeze of fresh lime juice and a bit of agave syrup. Top it off with some ice and a salsa rim. Mix it, shake it, pour it. And enjoy the spirit of the NBA. Hennessy. Without your spirit, it's only a game. 21 and over only. Please drink responsibly. But I love it with KG because he say some crazy shit and show love. And then Paul Pierce turn around and be like, nah, fuck them. They say <laughs> he, <was> like, <laughs> he said, if I was in this draft, I'd be a lottery pick. <laughs> P, it's over, bro. Facts. <laughs> Paul P a legend though, bro. Okay, G though, to hear him talk like that is kind of crazy. Cause I'm about asking some. <laughs> this how this how crazy KG is. Look, I'm in Minnesota. So first of all, this nigga, he loved D Rose. Rightfully so, we all do. Yeah. But I was sorry. He was like, when this nigga gonna get this motherfucking spot up? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I was in practice like. <laughs> Damn, nigga. But then I wanted him to sign a jersey. <laughs> We had a trainer. I mean, not a trainer, but a uh, damn. I don't even know what you call them. Dude, they do the jerseys and shoes and all this shit. Mm-hmm. Name was Clayton. I was like, man, he think KG is signed my jersey. He's like, it's how he talked like KG. He was like, ticket don't sign no jerseys. Look at him. I said, no, nigga, you gonna ask him to sign jerseys for you? <laughs> ticket don't sign no jerseys. I said, say less, bro. He, he didn't train the shit out of you. <laughs> No, all right, so <laughs> ticket don't sign no jersey. I said, all right, hell no, damn KG. I was like, damn. That's when I was like, damn, this nigga don't fuck with people like he don't sign jersey. But to see him now, like talking highly about young dudes and ready to get people game and shit, 
Man, I always think about Joe Noah. He's like, first time I met Lee, my favorite player. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he was nothing. I'm on glad they got to sit down and chop it up about that too. That was fire, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, they did that. Yeah, they sat down and talked about it. KG apologized. Like, nigga, I'm when I'm in that game mode, my nigga, I don't all that fanned out shit, nigga. That's weird to me. Let's hoop. That nigga, I'll never forget that shit. Them niggas said courtside, nigga. <laughs> I wanted that nigga KG to be cool with me so bad. <laughs> Fuck this nigga store for me. Like, Damn. He said, when that nigga gonna give up this yeah, spot? Yeah, we gonna give up this motherfucking spot? <laughs> tip, fuck tip, <laughs> Damn. We had on them Prince jerseys. I ain't gonna never forget that shit. The black and purple. <laughs> I was like, damn, nigga. Damn, hey, okay, bro. G, make it right, man. Make it right. That shit was funny as hell. I mean, get well soon to Rod Wave, man. Your dog. My nigga out now. Balenciaga yeah. got out. Yeah, we already took our picture at the gas station. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Back on road, nigga. Tour, he, tour coming in summer, my nigga. He was getting fried on the internet because they put down his measurements when he got booked. <laughs> they said he was 5'6", 300. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said he built like a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga remind me of the Mario bomb, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mario. Man, I too watch your game, man. man I too much on my boy in here to nigga defend himself. Nigga built like show. a bomb. It's funny as <laughs> I'm glad my nigga free. You feel me? Glad he free, bro. 300 at 5, 6 is yeah. crazy, bro. He's Rod Wave, damn near Bowser, for sure. <laughs> That's why Jamar start touching that party even more, bro. You got to lose bro, weight, bro. Jamar don't, don't do no yourself, powder, bro. bro. Not, probably not no more. <laughs> he never did no powder, bro. Jamar, I ain't let that nigga do you like that, bro. He my nigga says, yay high, bro. Shout out to Jamar, bro. <laughs> my nigga's never on that powder, bro. <laughs> the only thing crazy is that nigga mama make barbecue every weekend. So no. I'm like, she used to throw them baby back ribs on the... I don't know how he ain't eating them no more. My boy slap. Y'all know, I know he ain't one. That nigga definitely ain't eating no turkey ribs. Fuck yeah. Jamar. <laughs> <laughs> I keep over there eating turkey burgers and shit. That shit nasty, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, Age, relax. Shout out to the turkey I burger. I, I did, pause. <laughs> I ain't eat a turkey burger, bro. Turkey I tried that shit. Trash, that shit bro. Especially on barbecue, bro. Oh, my oh, life, bro. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> Motherfuckers always be saying it depends on how you season it. No, well, you that shit tastes like gravel, bro. <laughs> you say like gravel? God damn, <laughs> motherfucker tastes like the sand on the bottom of the beach. Skin. I don't like that light skin. Oh, oh that's a turn off, bro. Mm. That's, that's, that's that's dark. Cool. Shout out to everybody who can't touch the pork. I'm nothing on a hot dog, though. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you touching Mike? Because Mike eat glizzy. <laughs> Mike glizzy? Mike glizzy. And I hate how he dress him up too, Paul. Yeah, but... Mike G. <laughs> the Mike real Mike G. <laughs> Why? Why is this nigga decorating this glizz dog like this, bro? <laughs> Just, that just nigga messy, went, to, bro. went into a five-star <laughs> restaurant, nigga, and got a glizzy. <laughs> out of pocket. Your <laughs> wife even said, I don't know what he's doing. It was in a He's Italian different sauce. out of town. Italian sauce is even worse. Sauce. Okay. <laughs> different race. <laughs> he like the Zai glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like him foreign, huh? <laughs> he like him like skin. <laughs> he foreign glizzy. <laughs> A foreign glizzy is crazy. Move on. <laughs> they got a foreign glizzy. All oh, right. shit. Okay. Foreign glizzy is crazy. <laughs> they got a foreign glizzy. Oh, oh, no. Hell no, man. Hell no. Oh, I can't take this nigga serious with his ankles out like this. I'm getting ready for my ankle, my ankle tuber. That's crazy, yeah. man. Yeah. They asked, they asked about that. I don't, I'm not gonna follow up on that. I'm just y'all gotta ask Ricky Mike about that. It's Damn. Cool. Don't worry about it. Respects. Oh man. Hey wow. man, shout out to Draymond, man. Draymond show some love in this podcast. Everybody tagged it. it was like we started some shit. Cause he definitely saw what Sean Mary said and he didn't like none of that shit. Oh yeah, what'd he say? <laughs> he said, fuck all that shit. He said, look who I guarded on the way to my fourth championship, not my first one. Mm. Mm. Who he guard? He was like, I guarded Jalen Brown. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> I guarded Jokic. <laughs> Tough. And then he was who I forgot who he said first round. He was like, I guarded every different position entire. Like, hey dog. He said he guarded a guard. Yeah, he's like, I guarded everything you talked about. Nah. On route to my fourth championship. <laughs> Stunt. That was yeah, crazy. That was a... Nah, but Draymond, one of the best defenders in NBA history, though. So yeah. easily. When he said that, I was just like. He was already kind of tight, so I was just like, yeah, all right, bro. You know, yeah, but, you let him have yeah, it. Yeah, like, you Because that could have been a conversation. Yeah, but for I sure. Was, let him get his shit up. But Draymond, definitely one of the top defenders ever playing NBA, so. Yeah. Whatever. 
I like the fact that he even was just like, yeah, I fuck with you, bro. Let's get to it. <laughs> no, I am the spirit defender. <laughs> I was like, he is. Like, he's, yeah. No, he's lying right now. When he gave me a shout out, he was like, you was that before I got to the league. Mm -hmm. like, I continue the, the legacy. So he gave him his props. Yeah. He was just saying, my nigga, don't act like you're the only one who... Because let's go to the footage. Draymond, defensive player of the year, though. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if Matrix got that. He did not. But he guarded a lot of. No, nah, I mean he guarded a lot of people though. So Marion definitely deserved his credit on defense, but Draymond was. Draymond that did. Bro, nigga used to fuck games up, bro. Yeah. With his defense, so. Now he's fucking games up a little bit differently. Shout out to my nigga. We, them black forces on the way, too. Oh, bro. for sure. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we're definitely doing another episode. Shoe laces. No Tap in with me. We got to get some special laces for my nigga Draymond, man. Yeah, facts. What the, what's going to be on them laces? I don't know. Probably Dirty Dog. <laughs> <laughs> See, he out there like he on his way out, bro. Man, he out there going <laughs> crazy. You know who that nigga act like he just want to go back to jail so he start fucking up, bro? <laughs> Draymond just want to be out of the oak. I got nothing to lose. Stay. <laughs> He don't got nothing to lose, bro. When he choked out Rudy. I said he clowned it. <laughs> That's what got it cracking, though. That's, That's what really got it cracking, bro. Draymond because he's this. had, you know, Draymond and kick niggas in the nuts and did shit like that. But that shit with Rudy, bro, it just, they was on his ass after that. Everything he did, bro, was just overhyped. So. Nah, but he just made a good play. Uh, what game was that against Dallas? Mm -hmm. He blocked that shot, kept the ball in bounds. Game winning block, still contributing, bro. Nah, no, oh, like, but like he's like Jeff said, shit. Hopefully, he can go to a contending team that can help out. Draymond ain't done hooping. Hell no, he just you know cutting the fool right now. What's funny is you might have to play a Laker team or a Warriors team to play in, and that's that's not fair. I told y'all niggas at the beginning of the year, all you fake ass NBA YouTube motherfuckers. I told y'all the West is way stronger than the fucking East. The 10th seed in the fucking West, I mean, is over 500, nigga. Okay. By multiple games, bro. The East is weak as hell, bro. The East 10th seed is the Hawks, and they are, they don't have a good record. But other than that, yeah, everybody else is there at 500 or more. Who? In the East? Nah, like the... the I'm seven, not saying they're the, the best. Seven, <clears throat> like the 7th or 6th seed in the, East, in the West is like the 2 seed in the East. I mean, or something Facts, like that. bro. Yeah. Like, way, way better, bro. It's super, super competitive. Shape, for sure. yeah, the West is super tough. competitive over there. So, if niggas don't figure out in the East, I don't know. Shit, it's damn near looking like a walking path for the Celtics and the, uh, the Bucks, bro. It really look like a walk for the Celtics, though, right now. I was going to say, it look like a walk for the Celtics. The Bucks is kind of struggling. Like, I think Adrian Griffin got a bad rap because mm. Doc Rivers didn't really change too much over there either. And besides him doing these press conferences every time they lose and saying, everybody looks happy except me. <laughs> Doc, what the fuck? But I yeah. still trust Dame, and I still trust Giannis in the series. You got to beat them niggas four times. Yeah. So it's probably going to be them in Boston, obviously. Dude, it's further out for the season. I don't know if, even if he was playing, if they helped the Knicks get over one of them two teams. It I think OG well back. soon, JR, man. Damn. I ain't going to lie. I love watching the Knicks play, though. I and. No, nah, go ahead. Nah, and I just never thought I would like watching the Knicks play. Nah. It's but, not your typical Tibbs team either. Nah, but when I watched them play, like I watched them last night against the Kings. It was just a joy. I was I, it's the first time I watched the NBA game for real. I was just wanted to see Dante. That's my guy. And I was just like, let me see how Tay gonna play tonight. I'm gonna watch. Cause I was watching Indiana, uh, Indiana State play. And Shout game, to Ron. Yeah, that game was over. They lost or whatever. Then I started watching the Knicks. And watching Jalen Brunson just do whatever he want, him and Hart, and it's like playing with your homeboys, your college <clears> team. <throat> I'm like, damn, niggas lucky as shit. Get the hoop with their college teammates. I was like, that's hard. Yeah, bro, they a real dust ball team in real life. Like, yeah. he hoop with his niggas in the league. Yeah, facts, bro. And they all killing. I think Tay had like 27. He had like 35. Mm -hmm. Hart had like 29. I'm like, oh, they Josh Hart been on a crazy run, bro. Yeah, I was like, damn. Second man. half most valuable NBA, I mean, most valuable player in the league for sure after All Star break. That nigga been going on a crazy run. Especially for them to be <clears throat> losing their two best, like two of their top three players. Outside of Jalen yeah. being number one, they've lost their two and three. Mm -hmm. They still going crazy. Yeah. I like the Knicks. They don't let Bogey play that much, though. They definitely do not. Bogey don't get no tip. He need to come back to the Pacers. It'd be perfect for the Pacers right now. Ooh, ask DJ who the fuck he gonna fire to get him. I'll fuck with Bogey. He can pull up. 
<laughs> hey, and I don't give a fuck. I said Who what I you said. Release? Rick, <laughs> pack your bags. Now Rick can stay. He just got to go work upstairs. We we have to we have to get a head coach, man. Who who you man? Ooh, so many out there, bro. Head coach, who y'all gonna get? Who you, Mark Anybody Jackson? not born in the 1950s, 1960s? Somebody. Rick Carlisle just looked like that, bro. Now Rick Carlisle played in the NBA in the 1980s. Yeah, bro. He so was you want like Bud? Listen, I would love Bud. <laughs> y'all get Bud? I would love Coach Bud. I'm gonna be on the staff. Come on, but I think he gonna go to Brooklyn or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Brooklyn, Charlotte. Y'all yeah, yeah, hire Mark Jackson, man. Bring Mark through. Mark Jackson's podcasting. No, he ain't coaching no more. He getting the money. He yeah. fuck with Cam. Yeah. Also, on that cold project, getting the, getting the fucking Cam versus fire. Fire. That's fire. fire. Yeah, that's it. Cam yeah. didn't do half bad either. No? I said, damn, Cam, you still got it. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah, fuck with Cam. Damn, yeah. so Mark Jackson not even going to fuck with y'all. I don't even know who y'all can hire then, bro. We ain't hiring nobody, man. We stuck. Rick Carlisle. We stuck. Carlisle, man. <laughs> Rick Carlisle die. Yeah. If he if he leave Larry and come back, that'd be just our luck. That's how it works here. Did Tyrese get his powers back? Tyrese been solid. Tyrese been solid. I ain't been keeping up been yeah. delayed the last few games. I ain't know if he got his powers back or not. He been solid. I mean, we're a very serious team right now. <laughs> Not y'all are serious. We're very, oh, we've been, bro, we've been very serious recently, bro. Oh. Y'all, we are in the playoffs. <clears throat> we was at the six. Now we're in the play-in at seven. <laughs> Sound about right. Sound we, about right. We can win out, be in the six seed. What? Probably won't because we just lost to the fucking Nets. Y'all see how hype niggas be at the beginning of some shit? Yeah, man. And then when shit get towards the end. I'm not used to having nice shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to be excited, but then this shit happens. Oh, you couldn't tell this nigga nothing. This nigga had a 520 Pacers jersey. <laughs> yes. He did have a 520 Pacers jersey. Pacers man. hat. Yes. That nigga did have a 520 Pacers jersey. That nigga, that nigga dressed so damn right now. It's crazy. That nigga told him, that nigga asked us, did we want one? Hell no, nah, nigga. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Send me my fucking I'm hat. done with the Pacers. Yeah, done with the Pacers. <laughs> I ain't hey. with the Pacers since the 80s, nigga. Hey, nigga, uh, a nigga in the DM was like, hey, I got a team jersey. You want to sit there? I said, I don't think Burr won't fit. <laughs> what jersey was it from? The 44? Nigga, nah, I keep that motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, I don't think Burr won't that jersey. That's a scream for Nah, I keep that motherfucker. Hell no, nah, man. Matter of fact, send that motherfucker this way, man. <laughs> I think I still got some 44 jerseys, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh. We give one away on Patreon. Yeah, Fuck West Side. Throw them hoes at the 520 day. Nah. <laughs> We're gonna put Dude, that. Like- We're gonna put that in that chain in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear what I'm saying. Go ahead. Shout out shout shout my, my boy. Shout out my boy. Hey, man, oh, y'all play too much, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, before we get out of here, be here. You got to update the people. Hey, this is spoiler alert. If you watch Could Have Been a House, this is your time to turn it off for about 10 minutes. You watch a new episode? Fire, bro. Might be the best one. Hey, man. Best one, bro. Right, That's the best shit. He got to do another season, bro. Uh, it was the finale. Run the back. No, no, no. It's not the finale. I'm just saying how it's going. It keeps getting better every episode, bro. That shit needs to hit TV for real. You for like sure. it on YouTube or you want to see it on TV? I want to see it on TV. I would like for it to stay on YouTube. I mean, either way. I right, tap tapped in since that. As long as it's episode. available. Yeah. I mean, for his sake, because I feel like that him building that platform is him getting probably more of that bread. I mean, you know, YouTube, because we're going to talk about because we're still on there. Mm-hmm. But I imagine that's probably a more beneficial situation than being with a network. Because mm-hmm. it's a lot of things you have to do for, to get that show, like, in front of people. On YouTube, everybody can go to YouTube. Niggas don't got cable. Imagine him, like, with the production budget of a Netflix show. That show would be crazy. Bro. That's why, I, now that's fire. If he could go to like a, a um, DS, like a streaming company and then do it like that, that would be crazy. He got the relationships. However it comes out though, fuck it. But that's the best shit on. That's, I ain't watched it. It got good. Bro, I swear to God, this last one, he's going to be rolling, bro. They fried. Bro, they, they are fucking hilarious. This the one with Birdman? Yep. Birdman, Birdman on this motherfucker? that really happened? No, I think it did. But unless Juicy got crazy acting skills, he was spooked, bro. When he got on that, on that, uh, what you call that sprinter, mm-hmm. he was spooked when he got on that bitch. And Birdman was on there. Birdman went on there. They had ran. He had ran <laughs> from Birdman. I got watching. He started. Yeah, he took the train. He started going off, nigga, on his on his people. Like, I told you. Da, 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 da. I said, oh, that looked like it was serious. 
So unless his acting skills is really elite, that shit's top tier, bro. I gotta watch. I ain't really tight. Yeah, you gotta watch it, bro. I seen Glorilla though. Mm. With me on Shay Shay. <laughs> you been tapping in the Shay Shay. Nah, what they talk a, about? I just seen the highlight. She was just talking about how she. <laughs> they was like how dudes gonna trap her. Or something. Uh, she said she got a, uh, <laughs> I'm about to say a subscription. A membership. Yeah, a membership. Oh, I said, bro, she fraud. You can't say that, bro. Membership to Dairy Queen for sure. Yeah, it's almost summertime. She said she out of pocket. Niggas love blizzards. Nah, for she sure. <laughs> she said a bunch of shit that was kind of funny on there. She, she's a comedian, low key, bro. Yeah. Little ghetto cool bitch. <laughs> Shout out to Global. Hey, y'all see Tiger Woods? Uh, basically, he said he's being absent to train for the next Masters. Gotta ask you. If you could not have sex for a whole year doing your hoops, like your prime of your career, <laughs> would you would not have sex a whole year to get a ring? <laughs> nah, to get a max deal. Not a ring, though. Mm. A max deal, they said you can't get no buns for a whole year. Can't have no girls, wifey, girlfriend, whoever she is, cannot come around for it. But you're going to get a hundred, whatever, 210 million. Boy, I delete every app. <laughs> I won't even have a phone for a whole year, sort of guy. After Be- that year, though, he's going to open that brothel Ooh! up. <laughs> he's going to relive. <laughs> Tranquilizer tea. Go the way. The Whoa. real TT. Tranquilizer. <laughs> <laughs> going crazy. Look at it. Shit's going to be epic. Tootsie me down. I'm going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> the real freak out, Bill. No, hell no. Nah. Bring hell, the weights. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Boy. Shoo. Oh, uh, yeah. He'll be a, that nigga be a hot mess. What would y'all do it? For 210 million? For the millions, for sure. For a ring, fuck no. Not for the ring. I don't see no value in that. But I don't play professional sports, so I don't do it. For, say you got a max deal of a ring, would you take a whole year off? Yeah, max for the deal, max for deal. sure. Nah, I'm, I'm for max deal. I'm tapped in for a ring. For a Jalen Brown deal for sure. Oh yeah, he can make up a lot in here. Yeah, it's crazy. The rebrand is crazy, bro. What you doing after that year up though? The rebrand is crazy, bro. <laughs> you want shit? You want ape shit? Yeah, bro. <laughs> first thing you pull it up to. Yeah. Where, where the first place? The hard, my city? new house. <laughs> <laughs> we go first turn Carmel out. <laughs> <laughs> Reparation. <laughs> what, what city you go to after you you after I, after I flip Karma upside yeah, down? Because yeah. I ain't never touched a snow buddy. But in honor of Doctor Umar, <laughs> it's gonna be snowing in that motherfucker. <laughs> and then we all <laughs> then the next Hennessy <laughs> stop. <laughs> this <laughs> is <laughs> it's, it's Miami for sure. <laughs> We ain't gonna have no guests that episode. <laughs> nah, yes, it will. Meg just stay out here. That's our next guest. Yeah, 220, Ooh. whatever the max deal is. Yeah, you probably get made. Yeah. For sure. For sure. We flipping karma upside down, though, bro. He said, I don't know, Dr. Omar is funny as shit. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Hey, man. Diddy, man, been outside. My boy riding the bike on the freeway. Man. He trying to commit suicide. For sure. <laughs> Sure, bro. Riding a bike on the freeway? <laughs> Come on, bro. Baby. I did that on 65 before. <laughs> bro, you out of pocket. <laughs> Why? Me and my niggas, we yeah, did that across you, 65 before. Bro, you was trying bro. to go home, man. When you I say home, you trying to Nah, because you, when you ride your bike, nigga, to Lafayette Square, you never got to hop on 65 from Boulevard to get there low key. Yeah, you was trying to see the Lord. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. This is going to be the last episode of fucking <laughs> Sons of Anarchy. Because <laughs> we had to take 65 to get to the Everybody village. Everybody say, do so. it for Lil' Saint. <laughs> <laughs> that was the game, too. So. <laughs> you know how they take the bikes and put them next to the place? Yeah, yeah bro. They're about to put your huffy in the, in the raft. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. Uh, for sure, bro. <laughs> never mind. I ain't going to say that. Never mind. Never mind. Just, y'all going to keep that. They're going to put bad. them pegs and go. <laughs> I'm saying that's too much. <laughs> He's watching me out of yeah, pocket. That's too much. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> Let me just stop. Why is he on the bike on the e-way though, bro? <laughs> bro, he just doing shit, bro. I told you we trying to do, bro. He's trying. Mm-hmm. So he's free. And oh, he's free. Just yeah, chilling. I seen him nigga at a party. So he's chilling, bro. That's crazy how the internet flipped <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Not one of his parties. Oh, you're saying, <laughs> you boy, you at the I party? Was to, I was trying to. 
Get away Not from his that. party. See, that's somebody else's party or a dancer or some shit. I don't know what he's doing. You see old boy from uh, 101. He was just like, would you rather go to Epstein Island or Diddy Party? He said, Epstein Island, me. At the gate. I said, <laughs> never. Nigga, you're Why sick. is that even a debate, though? Because podcasts are stupid. No, nah, I'm not. But I love them. Yeah, I'm not fucking with the Epstein, Epstein Island, Island, bro. Wow, bro. That's wild, bro. He said that off the dribble, too, bro. Nah. He was geeked. He's like, nah, I'm going there. I'm like, oh, bro, my boy. He going with kids, my boy. Yeah, hell nah. It's out of pocket. I always knew something was wrong with him, bro. Yeah. Epstein Island. Is that Arnez? Yeah, yeah, Arnez. Yeah, he was already. Arnez J? No, not Arnez J. Arnez off one on one. They used to wear the little fish scales around his neck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I used what, to get him in shells? Orlando. He had the seashell choker. Fish scales. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm thinking about what I used to see. You know, Mike Daddy yeah. had on one of them chains at the funeral today. <laughs> He got a seashell? Yeah. I, was, I said fish scale. I was thinking about my old days. <laughs> Damn. What I used to live, I used to live on 38. <laughs> Nino <Fish> Brown. Fish scale. <laughs> can buy you what you want. <laughs> that nigga. That nigga daddy did have on the seashell I'm chain. I'm blocking your ass from Instagram. <laughs> your daddy did have on seashell. I did see that. I was talking shit about it. Y'all can't talk shit about my daddy, though. Move, move, the, fuck move the fuck on. Move the fuck on. Shout out to Big Fight, man. That nigga did this to the camera. Said, what the fuck they got going on in the hall here? Move on. That nigga was in friendship, too. I see them, for, I see them purple he was, ass like, he was like, only West Side niggas know we're in friendship. Oh, God. That's Sue Jackal's biggest shit. The old three draft class. <laughs> Yo, we not I doing that. that Bello Y'all jacket. <laughs> <laughs> he had CJ Four suit on. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hey, then we doing that commercial. Why that nigga say Arnold J though? That's still <clears> still <throat> thinking about it. That is funny. <laughs> hey, two of you niggas name Arnold. The fact that it's two is crazy. <laughs> Both of them famous. That was his name on one on one, man. I don't know that nigga Richard. I don't know that nigga real name, bro. I was about to say Dale. That's the nigga that played on uh, Coach Carter. <laughs> <laughs> he was the son. It yeah. is, bro. That was Cousin Skeeter, too. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn, Damn. that was a elite show, Cousin Skeeter. Cousin Skeeter was fire. Yeah, fire. That's funny. Coach Carter is crazy. Him being his point guard, is, uh, he had the wildest team ever, bro. Yeah, for sure. Because that nigga I feel like it was real life, though. But Worm was in Sunset Park and Coach Carter. How long was that nigga playing a teenager? <laughs> that nigga <laughs> did have a little run as a teenager, didn't he? <laughs> he yeah. was always ball. <laughs> that nigga was Jerry Jack. <laughs> I've never seen Jerry and Jack were here. Damn. You never will, bro. Jerry Jack never hit the barbershop. Never seen a nigga with here, bro. All the years I know him. From Georgia Tech on. Damn, that's crazy. We gotta get a real perception from Jerry Jack. All right, man, we're about to get up out of here. Be here and tell people where they can grab a merch at. Shop clock. What? Shop. <laughs> Excuse me? This <laughs> nigga with Jamaican on. Shop clock. <laughs> Shop clock, man. On my clock. <laughs> thinking about Mike Daddy outfit. That's <laughs> what I was going to say. That nigga said, Shop clock. <laughs> you think about Mike Daddy outfit? <laughs> Ass nigga. Nah, uh, shop clock. Shop club 520.com. <laughs> We're going to have a behead Jamaican hoodie just for y'all. <laughs> The bumper clock made by shop, LRG. Shop, shop, club520.com, man, for your merch. Man. He for got sure. a Jamaican hoodie made by LRG, don't you? Nah, bro, <laughs> I just got the, my cool running outfit out there. <laughs> cool running. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't talk about that, did y'all? What, cool running? getting the LRG uh, deal? We talking about it enough. Oh, yeah, oh, shout, shout out to him. him. Anybody buying them shirts. Cool running. All video <laughs> fire movies. I was, was going to say, would you, would you order a shirt? What did it say on that? <laughs> Am I fresh? Ain't I fresh? On the shirt? Yeah. You ain't seen it? Man, hell no. Nah. <laughs> cool is running. I'm happy he got a bag, but that shirt's crazy. <laughs> Real line. That's like, that's oh, like the bitches time. that be wearing the sweaters. That's like a bad bitch. <laughs> cool <is> running. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the rhythm. Feel the run. I see the stud with one of the It's making fuckers. bots that time. <laughs> Cool <laughs> you see the stud in the Juicy Couture outfit? Man, that's nasty, bro. Oh, I can't say that. I can't say that, my bad. But, <laughs> why she... That motherfucker had old bad bitch on the ass, bro. Man, he lying. Bro. <laughs> he lying, bro. She had braids. She had, she had the She had the Queen Latifah set it off. Nah, they was clean. They was stitched. Uh, <laughs> she had the eyeballs? <laughs> it was this, bro. With some drawers on, for real. Don't care. I was With confused drawers. like a motherfucker. 
Well, I know she has a big ass titty, so I was like, damn, okay. That's a girl. On that note, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> that's the worst. <laughs> a thick stud. Nah, I don't even know. I just look like they just want to be chubby to look like a dude, to be honest. <laughs> I think they about having the biggest titties, bro. I think about many fresh every time. Like, <laughs> the mini fresh. How about she mini fresh? That's what she is. Or I think, never mind. I, it's a, hey, it's so a dude. It's a dude from, strap, bro. Never mind, I gonna say that because I, I fuck with dude, but he, he from here that looks like all the studs. <laughs> I fuck with him. Well, I'm talking about the OG studs. The, the yeah, it's, it's OG. It's OG. <laughs> no, nah, that's a nigga, bro. Uh, he not uh, a stud, bro. <laughs> hey, we out. <laughs>